Okay, so for today's video, it's going to be my sought after, probably most popular video on my account. Um, the what I got for Christmas haul. And I wasn't, I was thinking about if I was going to film this video or not this year. And you guys literally, like, I would ask you guys what videos you want me to film. It would remind me throughout the year to film this video. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and film it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to film it just because I know a lot of people, like every YouTuber films this video. And it's kind of like, not overdone, but it's really, I think it's kind of fun to watch. Um, so yeah, uh, of course, a quick little disclaimer. Um, I'm very grateful, of course, for everything that I got. Um, I wasn't expecting a lot of things this year. Um, mainly because um, I'm doing a lot of traveling for track and field this year. So I feel like that's a present in itself. Which actually is kind of the reason why I didn't get as much as I got last year. But I still got quite a bit. And also, um, I only count the things I got about a week up until Christmas to be my Christmas gifts. Um, but my parents, like, I know some families, like, anything that they buy in December is considered, like, wrapped up and put under the tree for a Christmas gift. I don't really, my family doesn't do that. Um, and also, or, like, we don't wrap presents, really, because I'm with my mom when I go and buy the gifts, so it's not, there's really no point to wrapping them, because I already know what it is. So, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get really big, so you can't, like, see the top of my head, so it cuts off right here, but, yeah, it's a half pop down, in case you guys are wondering. So, anyways, um, I don't know where I can start. Uh, I guess I can start with a couple of the gifts that... Oh, also I'm turning 18 in, on this Saturday, December 27th. I'm going to try and get this video up today, which is Christmas. Um, so Merry Christmas, guys. And <laughs> I probably should have said that earlier on the video. But, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm um, sorry that also the lighting's kind of red, but I do like my decorating. I'm kind of proud of myself for that decorating because I am awful. But anyways, um, my mom got me a couple candles because I love candles. Um, these are just the big which I'm gonna call it. But this one is pumpkin spice latte and it smells amazing. Okay, actually, these candles are $4. They're from Walmart that we just picked up randomly. I was about grocery shopping with her. They fill my house up with the scent. These are honestly comparable or even better than Math and Bible's candles. The only thing that sucks is that they don't have as big of a selection for scents, but they are great. So this one is the pumpkin spice latte, which smells just like, um, it's like a peppermint one that Bath & Lightworks has, and this one is just called pumpkin waffles, which of course you can guess, smells like pumpkin pecan waffles, and I haven't burned this one yet, but it smells amazing, and the wicks are almost a little bit stronger, which is awesome. So yeah, next I got a lot of shoes, I got four pairs of shoes, so yeah, the first pair I got were a pair of Comet boots, because I've been needing a really good, messed up, rugged pair of Comet boots, because these are from Dillard's, and I love them so much, so... They look so cute with just torn up jeans and just whatever. They go with everything. So I thought I needed a good pair because I got rid of my last. I have a pair of black ones and I had a pair of nude ones and I got rid of the nude ones. So I figured I needed a brown pair. Next are these boots that I got. They're over the knee riding boots and I'm obsessed with them. Um, they are amazing. They're from Dillard's as well. And they have just a little buckle thing in the back. I've worn the ones. They're not the most comfortable. But I feel like you might have to break them in. So that's why they're kind of awkward. But I might do a few styling videos. So like this video or thumbs up this video if you want to see a styling video with some over the knee boots. Um, next I got this, oh, sorry, <laughs> this quarter zip, um, it's a polo quarter zip, I've been wanting one of these since last Christmas, I was out at, um, Weaver's with my mom, and, yeah, they, they saw one, and it was really expensive, and I really wanted it, and she was like, that's so expensive, yeah, so it was kind of cute, she got it from this year, but this was a kind of surprise, so it's navy, and it's really cute, and I love it. Next, I got a bag of stuff, bag of stuff, and I feel like I'm so classy, because I have, ha I have, like, three Three or four Michael Kors watches. I don't know. I think it's four. Three or four. I'll say three. Michael Kors watches. And um, my mom got me a quarter zip from Michael Kors as well. This was, I think, from Dillard's. It was um, 90. So it was on sale. It wasn't, you know. Yeah. It's not. It was not crazy, crazy expensive. It's a little bit pushing it for a quarter zip. But it's really, really cute. It's really soft and comfortable. It's a men's quarter zip. I don't really care. I don't mind. I got a sports bra because, you know. We got a lot of things that I feel like, things like I wear, I needed, instead of just like fun gifts. So I feel like I prefer getting more fun gifts for Christmas and stuff, just because like those are things I probably wouldn't buy myself on a regular basis. But like the sports ball, I probably wouldn't eventually buy it myself. So I don't know. It's nice. And she got me a sheer flannel. See, I never, never really get clothes for Christmas, which is kind of a twist, but I don't mind. I got a, like a, what you call it? A burnt out kind of sheer tank for working out and then I got one of these shirts that I've been wanting forever um, I'm not sure if these are very popular where you guys are from I, I live in Kansas so hence the Jayhawk um, they're kind of like they're called Jersey shirts but there's a, a couple boutiques downtown 
that sell them and they are literally like $90. And I'm like, I can't justify saving that much for a shirt. So we found it at TJ Maxx for 30 bucks, which is awesome. So it just looks like this in the front. It just has a, they all have a little line across the front like that. It's really big oversized, but on the back, this is what makes the shirt the shirt. And it says Rock Talk Jayhawk and then the University of Kansas. And I'm so excited to wear that because basketball season is right now. And I am getting recruited by KU for track and field. So I will be going to a couple games as a recruit. And I'm super excited. So I definitely will be seen wearing that. One of the most memorable gifts that if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw the video, the picture. My most liked picture it has like well over a thousand likes. It was crazy. Um, I met G-Eazy, um, my mother, and it got me... Um, I don't know my camera won't focus today. It is the GEZ, the, the From the Bay to the Universe Barber VIP. And if you guys are wondering why I got Barber VIP, um, the regular early bird VIP sold out. So this was $120 to get the VIP plus the $30 to admission into the actual concert. So I got to meet him. I will enter the picture right here if you want to see it. Anyways, but, um, if you guys want to see, have an have experience video, I do have a couple videos from the concert. I'm not sure if that's illegal to post that on YouTube, but anyways, um, I have some videos from the concert that if you guys want to see like an experience video or anything like that, you can comment below and let me know. Um, it was awesome getting to meet him and everything, and then there was a bunch of things. I had the best luck at concerts. I don't know why. Like, he got off the stage and sang to me. I'm not trying to be like, I really wish someone had, I had that on video because I know people probably think I'm lying when I say stuff like that, but I swear on my life it did happen. He sang to me last year, but it wasn't as dramatic because I wasn't front row this year. I was front row because I had the VIP, so I got early admission. It was amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> Next on to my birthday gifts. Um, I mean, Christmas presents. My parents and family kind of combined Christmas and birthdays because, like, my birthday is two days after Christmas. So, I did show you guys what's in my bag video, which is, if you haven't seen that, I'll link that below. But this was also one of my presents as well. This is a Michael Kors Jet Set tote. And I love it so much. And also, which I got with... I got, um, this is the Safiano, the coin purse as well, so I love those too. If you guys want to see what's in my bag, it's absolutely amazing, and I love that video, so I'll put the link down below so you guys can go check it out and tell me what you think. Also, I got, oh, continuing with the shoes, I got my first pair of Timberlands, um, I love them so much. One thing that makes me so upset about these is because I've wanted a pair of Timberlands for so freaking long, but I would always ask my friends, like, hey guys, you think Timberlands are cute? They'd be like, oh, heck no. Like, ugh. And I wear them all the time, and I just, I gawk at them all day. Like, I always stare at my feet when I'm walking and stuff because I love them so much. It really annoys me that I waited so long to get them because of what my friends thought. Or some old friends, not really friends anymore. <laughs> so, the last thing you can see, I got my first pair of Jordans. And if any of you guys, don't make fun of me. I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm not really, really, really short. I'm pretty average. These are 3 in kids, so don't hate. And these are 4 in kids, so don't hate. My first pair of Jordans. Um, pretty exciting. These are the... 11 retro concord sorry i i'm learning jordan names a lot better so they look like this and they're really really cute i love them so much if i can focus a little bit yeah so this is what they look like i don't think they look that small but everyone thinks they look pretty small i've worn them a couple times which is like this part's not you know they still look really great on the bottom and everything so i love these to pieces um they're actually extremely comfortable. I mean, they better be for how freaking expensive they were. But my first pair of Jordans, I... Okay, I'm not sure if you guys want to, like... Should I make a video about my Jordans or how I wear them or anything? Because some people are like, I don't see how girls can wear them. They look really cute. The way I wear Jordans is... I wear them more as if they're, like, athletic shoes. I don't wear them, like, with jeans. I think they're pretty cute in jeans, but I don't wear them with jeans. I wear them more with, like, leggings or... I don't know. I can make a silent video if you guys want to see that. So comment below if you want to see that video. Um, I can also make a video of, like, my list of Jordans that I'm going to be... I'm going after within the next little bit, I guess. Um, I have about six pairs of Jordans and then like two more pairs of Katie's that I want to get. And I already ordered another pair that I want. So hit me up if you guys want to know about those. And also my Connect, um, you can check them out on Instagram. So I, yeah, that's everything out for Christmas, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you're welcome. I wasn't planning on filming it, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and film it because you guys request all the time in that video. Um, so, ugh. oh my god, I ate so much today. I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Follow me on Instagram. 
I G G two A's two B's S K I I Gapsky. And I think that's everything I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, comment below any other video ideas. Um, also, I want to thank you guys so much for being so patient for me, with me. Um, I know that it's kind of annoying when I post a video, then two months later I post another video, so it's kind of annoying. But I have dedicated my whole winter break so far to filming and getting a lot of videos up for you guys. So I have lots of videos pre-filmed, and I have a lot of big projects in the works. And I'm super excited for you guys to hear and see those videos. So I don't want to give you guys, um, like, heads up on them, but I have a lot of really great collabs and videos and projects that I'm working on for you guys. So I'm so excited for you guys to see them. So stay tuned. Um... Keep checking back. I've been posting a lot more frequently lately, which I know is pretty exciting. So just keep checking back with me, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram for like daily updates. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.